Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, March 1st, 2017. For all Western New York News and Radio, I'm Scott Leffler. Scattered showers this afternoon and evening with a high near 62. Overnight, more rain and snow showers is possible with a low all the way down to 24. Thursday, there's a chance of snow showers with a high near 33. What's in the news? Western New York's congressional delegation largely stuck to their party's side in responding to last night's State of the Union address by Donald Trump, with Republican Congressman Chris Collins saying it showed a leader committed to restoring America's greatness and Democrat Brian Higgins calling it long on platitudes and short on details. Both of New York senators panned the speech as well, with Chuck Schumer making the rounds on cable networks last night and Kirsten Gillibrand's issuing a release saying that President Trump is out of touch. In other political news, Collins heralded a Donald Trump decision to abandon a Barack Obama executive order on clean water, saying the move would be helpful to Western New York farmers. State Attorney General Eric Schneiderman is one of several state attorneys general who has said they will fight Trump's decision. Alfredo S. DePina, age 27, who was convicted of attempting to re-enter the United States after having been deported subsequent to a conviction for an aggravated felony, was sentenced to 16 months in prison by U.S. District Judge Lawrence Villardo. Timothy J. Billings, age 31, of Whitesville, pleaded guilty before U.S. District Court Villardo to conspiracy to manufacture, possess with intent to distribute, and distribute 50 grams or more of a mixture of substance containing methamphetamine. The charges carry a minimum penalty of five years in prison, maximum of 20, and a $5 million fine. Police News New York State Police say they recovered meth-making materials and arrested two people early Tuesday morning in Jamestown. Sean D. Barrett, age 26, of DeWittville, and Morgan E. Keach, age 22, of Stockton, were charged following the incident. Their charges include third-degree unlawful manufacture of methamphetamine, second-degree criminal use of drug paraphernalia, seventh-degree criminal possession of a controlled substance, driving while intoxicated, and unlawful possession of marijuana. Adelie Berry, age 25, a legal permanent resident from Guinea, was arrested and charged by criminal complaint with possessing a fraudulent passport and aggravated identity theft. The charges carry a minimum mandatory penalty of two years in prison, a maximum of 10 years, and a quarter million dollar fine. 24-year-old Ronald Carl of Silver Springs was arrested and charged by complaint with receipt of child pornography. The charge carries a mandatory minimum penalty of five years in prison and a maximum of 20 years. Prosecutors say Carl was talking to a woman on meetme.com and after the woman offered sex in exchange for $300, Carl asked her to include her underage daughter in the deal for six grand. The woman reportedly sent him a photo of the daughter and a meetme.com staff member identified the possible endangerment of a minor and illegal content and notified the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. A 22-year-old Springville man was charged Saturday with DWI and unlawful possession of marijuana following a crash on Bryan Hill Road in Franklinville. State police say at approximately 5.40 a.m., Ethan T. Shea was found lying in his overturned vehicle by a resident on Bryant Hill Road. He was transported to Olean General Hospital for evaluation and was giving field sobriety tests, which he failed. Shea is scheduled to appear in the town of Franklinville court next month. Sports. The Buffalo Sabres lost another third-period lead Tuesday night, dropping the game in overtime to the Nashville Predators. Philip Forsberg tied it for Nashville with 2.23 remaining in regulation and scored the winner, 2.45, into overtime to give the Predators a 5-4 win over the home team. Today is the NHL trade deadline, and as this report airs both before and after the 3 p.m. deadline, we thought it best not to say what the Sabres have and haven't done. We'll update allwesternnewyorksports.com if the Sabres make any moves and provide further details on tomorrow's newscast. Don't miss the Think So Joe show only on All Western New York Radio tonight at 6 p.m. You never know what he's going to do, and he may have some announcements. Maybe. Okay, for all Western New York news and radio, I'm Scott Leffler, signing off until tomorrow. For news updates all day long and more details on any of today's stories, check allwesternnewyorknews.com. And have a great day.